There he is. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's because, uh, for example, uh, <coughs> if that wagon uh, had been standing in the downhill, it could possibly, if the brakes come loose, tighten up the wire. It is it and use uh, full driver if necessary if you're on the There we go. Alright, let's hit it. It's gonna be tight, so cut it left as soon as you get this turn. because I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Checkpoint number 10 gives the constant green light. Okay. That's for the fire extinguisher. Point number 14. Check that, check that brake fluid level is between max and minimum. Here, but there's nothing too critical. Um, making sure that these force it either, you just, there's not that much pressure and it's still within um, the tension. So this I'm in the BV driver's course. During cold response 22, we'll be using the BV 206 to transport uh, people, uh, ammunitions, and food. The BV 206 is one of the primary vehicles for transportation and tactical operations out here in Norway. It is a tracked vehicle, meaning it's kind of like a tank in terms of the way it looks. It's good for off-road driving, so driving in the terrain, driving through snow, 
And so we are learning the uh, maintenance operations, the vehicle standards, the rules of the road out here in Norway. And so this will allow our platoon uh, to get uh, from point A to point B. It's been really nice so far. Uh, the instructors are great. There's one instructor per eight students, so it's really hands-on learning. And their knowledge is really in-depth in terms of the engine, driving skills, and uh, know-how about to get up steep hills and mountainous terrain. Their knowledge for the vehicle and for the terrain out here uh, is really invaluable. Uh, some of our instructors have over 20 years experience in the Norwegian Army, so they're really in tune with uh, operations, tactical operations, and uh, this vehicle in particular. Our instructor Emil gave us not only knowledge about the vehicle, but uh, knowledge about the Norwegian culture and just about himself. So the different driving conditions that we've been through so far have been crazy. The mountainous terrain out here is remarkable. We've been going up steep, steep inclines. You're weaving in between tight spaces, going different speeds. Uh, sometimes you're up looking at the sky like you're on a roller coaster as you're trying to traverse this steep terrain. We've also seen some of the countryside as well and some of their smaller highways exploring avalanche terrain where you are like in between mountains on your left and right side. Their roads here are pretty small, so you have to be mindful when passing other vehicles. Some of their bridges only allow one person to go through at a time. It's, it's one of the most beautiful landscapes I've ever come across. Well, one thing I like about the BV is it's a smooth drive, all things considered. Some of the practical capabilities that we've learned are uh, and practice are sliding on ice at speeds of 20, 30, and 40 kilometers an hour, going over uh, hills, learning how to tow other vehicles, and traverse dangerous elements.